Q, let's go to you for a second. Okay. So how did you get get your confidence? You're 30, right? Yes. I'm Justin's 30. 37, so he's yeah. a little little more time to marinate, right? Mm -hmm. How did you develop your confidence? Oh, man. Um, the first thing, you said experience. Um, I break that down to practice and preparation. So... Um, and, I'm, and I don't do the game. I agree with you on game. I think it's bullshit to pick up artists, all that Snake shit. oil, bro. Yep, it's, it's, it's bullshit. Snake oil. So essentially what I learned from is not being scared to fail. You need to, you need to figure out what it is that you need to improve on. And you do that behind closed doors. And then when you get out in the real world and you apply it, understand that this might not work the first time, but know that mm -hmm. you're going to have a, another opportunity at it. And don't be scared to fail. So make sure you prep whatever it is in any domain, whatever domain you want to pursue in life. Make sure that you prep. You do the research that you need to do. You practice athletics, whatever the case may be. I learned mine from basketball. I played with a lot of the top players, NBA players through high school. I played for one of the top high schools. And I realized that my downfall was my confidence. The fact that I didn't have the confidence to get out there and do what I needed to do on the court to prove that I could play at the level that I and later ended up finding out I could play at. Yeah. So it's important to understand that you're going to fail. The com not only do you have to have confidence in success, but in failure as well. No, I'm going to fail. I don't care. I'm going to try again. That's where the confidence comes from. And then you'll later start to see the progression. You'll see that progression, and you'll find that confidence with that progression and continue on whatever path that you're on. Yeah. That's the way I see 